The GraphCMS API Playground is a great place to get started to create all of your queries and test any mutations. It's great for testing authorization and any API or permissions that you have enabled. It's also great to work with multiple environments, such as the management API if you're using that, or your public or any of your custom tokens that you have. If we here, for example, switch to the master environment and make a request to get our blog posts, and we make the request, we'll see that that is not allowed. However, as we've seen in a previous video, we can create separate tokens. So here, let's select a different token. And now if we run a query, that will be permitted. The default environment will be master. This gives you access to run any queries or permissions depending on your access level. Next, we can change the stage in which we want to fetch data from. We can select draft and run this query. We can also choose to return the stage name. And if we change this to published and run that query again, you will see now that the data is coming from the published stage. So this is a great way to work with multiple stages. And as you add more, these will automatically appear in this list. So you haven't got to use any external tooling. You can begin to query and mutate data using all of your stages environments directly inside of your GraphCMS project. If you have any locales enabled on your project, such as English or German, or any additional ones will appear in this list. This means when you are fetching content, it will automatically apply the appropriate headers to fetch the data with that locale in mind. Also inside of here is some documentation. If you want to explore all of the different queries that your GraphCMS project has generated based on all of the models and fields and relations that you have available, that will appear inside of here. The same goes for mutation. We can see all of the available mutations and what data and what arguments they require. If we expand the left panel here, we can also use the graphical explorer. And what this allows us to do is walk through all of the different fields that are available and it will automatically populate a query for us. We can also go back in time by looking at a local history of all of the queries or mutations we've done. So we can return to any one of our previous queries here and run that again. We've also got access to specifying any query variables and additional HTTP headers that we want to send.